we have known uh, the THU or the total horizontal uncertainty. Now we're going to talk about the total vertical uncertainty. As we might already guess, uh, the total vertical uncertainty is basically a one dimensional quantity that's contributing to the vertical measurement. Although it is only uh, one dimensional, it is actually the most important thing because when we're doing bathymetric surveys, we are actually talking about the uncertainty of the depth itself. So the depth is very, very important. And the equation is actually not as straightforward as what we had in THU. So we've got uh, several components in here uh, in which we are going to talk about a bit later. But the idea of this equation is you can see that the equation is actually exponential. It's not linear. So, um, sorry. So uh, the T view actually varies exponentially with depth, okay? So the deeper it is, actually you've got more error budget. When you've got more error budget, basically you can make more mistakes the deeper you go. But when you're um, at shallow water, then you, must be very, very careful, which makes a lot of sense. So the contributing factors in here are vertical datum errors, vertical positioning system errors, tidal measurement errors, et cetera. And these errors actually divided into two types of errors because that's what we are going to do when we're computing DView. So in DView, you've actually got two types of errors, one that varies with depth and the other does not vary with depth. You can simplify it using this equation, okay? So you don't have to identify them one by one. You actually already have your equation in which A is basically the portion of the uncertainty that does not vary with depth. And B is the coefficient uh, that represents something uh, of the uncertainty that varies with depth. So D here is depth. So BD is actually the, the whole portion of uncertainty that varies with depth. How do we actually use this um, equation? So we will use that equation, for example, uh, in if we are doing a survey again in order 1A, then you basically just input A and B into your equation. And the depth itself, it depends on how deep you are actually doing it. So for example, if your D is 25 meters and then you've got your A and B, then you can actually calculate um, the maximum T view in your area. 